In this video, I'll be breaking down how much you need to make in order to afford a 2022 Ford Bronco. I encourage you to follow one of these rules in order to avoid making a huge mistake that'll end up setting you back for years down the road. I've got a couple links down below, uh, one to get you a free auto quote where you can save up to 600 bucks a year and a couple where you can get some Amazon products to keep your car in better shape and then a few if you want to get started investing. There are four options I'll be going over today. You can decide on which one suits you the best depending on how into cars you are. Some just want a vehicle that'll take them from A to B and some are willing to spend quite a little bit more of their monthly budget to get the car that they really want. Stick around to the end of the video, find out what would be the best for you. This is 4 Wheel Finance, a channel dedicated to helping you making smart car buying decisions. Before I dive into the first rule, these videos take a pretty good amount of time and effort to make. Please give, the, give it a like, click the like and subscribe button, comment down below what other vehicles you would like to see. The first rule is the 24-10 rule. This states that you must put at least 20% down on the car, can't finance it for more than 4 years or 48 months, and the payment can't be more than 10% of your monthly gross income. Since the 2022 Ford Bronco has an MSRP of $30,800, if you're lucky enough to get it close to that, you'd need to put down $6,160. And with the average new vehicle interest rate of 3.86% and a 48-month term, this would bring your monthly payment to $554.81. You're also paying about $2,000 in interest here, so just remind that. I've got two links down there, one to M1 Finance, one to Acorns. Give a look at those. Get started investing as early as you can. I highly, highly encourage that. Bank rate states that the average monthly insurance cost is $148, but this varies a lot, so use the Smart Financial link down there. Gets you an idea exactly how much it would cost for you to, you, to insure a 2023 Ford Bronco. Totally free, takes like 30 seconds. And this would bring your monthly total to $702.81. Back to that 2410 rule, given your cost is 7281, dollars you'd need a monthly gross income of 10 times that, or $7,028.10, or an annual gross income of $84,337.20. I really encourage you to take a look at the opportunity cost here. If you were to buy a cheaper $10,000 car, $5,000 car, and put what would be your car payment of $554.81 in the market instead, over the course of five years with a conservative 6% rate of return, that would turn into $38,739.06, gaining over five grand in interest. Again, you can see what compound interest does here. So take a look at that Acorn M1 Finance app. You can start with pennies. Like you buy a coffee and you know, 40, 30 cents, whatever goes into investing and your um, credit card bill just has even numbers and not change on it. Makes it a little bit easier. This is just for the first five years. If you were to continue that for 10, it would amount to $90,580.66, again, at that 6% rate of return, which is pretty conservative. Typically, the stock market averages around 10% a year. Next rule is my own personal rule. And for this, I think that you need to have at least a six-month emergency fund, invest 15% of your gross income into your 401k or 403b, Max out your Roth IRA, and if you're really trying to be a superstar here, your HSA too. And I know that this does seem like quite a lot of saving, but there isn't a monthly percentage rule that you have to stick to. So I kind of give you a little bit of free reign to spend your money how you want to once you have all of your bases covered in terms of investing and saving. It's up to you to decide if you want to buy more car parts, you want to get a new set of tires or wheels or a new roof rack, or if you'd rather go out to dinner more or on vacations or, you know, that sort of thing. And then that six month emergency fund, that's just there to make sure that you're, you're covered in case a crazy emergency happened. It's amazing how much that money in an emergency can add up. And that investment portion, especially if you're younger, gives you a little bit of financial security later in life when you're going to need it the most. There's a lot of people that say that tomorrow's not guaranteed, and that's definitely true. But it's difficult to put a value on having the peace of mind for yourself or your family's future. It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. The next rule is the Dave Ramsey rule. In this states, you must have a three to six month emergency fund built up. The vehicle can't be more than 50% of your annual gross income, and you need to purchase it in cash. Given the 2022 Ford Bronco starts at $30,800, your annual gross income would need to be a minimum of $61,600. There's a lot of pros to buying a vehicle in cash, as you would avoid having to pay $2,000 in interest, and your insurance would be a little bit lower. But there's a lot of cons too, and number one being there's not a lot of people that have 30 grand in cash they can put towards a car. 
The final rule is the one-tenth rule, which was developed by Financial Samurai, very popular finance blog. You may have heard of it. And personally, I think this is one that majority of people trying to build their wealth should really consider. It doesn't allow you to buy a new vehicle, really, um, but it does allow you to spend responsibly, reduces your financial car ownership stress, and increases your net worth over time. This rule is very straightforward. It states that you shouldn't spend more than 10% of your gross annual income on a vehicle. It can be new, it can be old, but obviously the vast majority of people, it would be used. And you must own that vehicle for at least five years. And the idea behind this is to help minimize your financial stress. Freeze up a little bit of money, invest in opportunities or assets that might come your way. It's a lot more difficult, a lot more stressful making life decisions when you're worried about payments every single month. Once again, I can't stress it enough. Take a look at those investing apps in the description below. It's better to get started now, even if you're not putting a ton of money into it. This is 4 Wheel Finance. If you have any other questions regarding car buying or how much of a car you can afford, leave them in the description down below or that Smart Financial link if you want to take a look and see if you can save up to $600 a year on car.